Hi, 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 students. Welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at surface area. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at the surface area of a cube. Now, you must be asking yourself the question, what do I mean by surface area? Well, surface area really is the amount of space that covers the surface of a solid. So it's the space that you see that covers the surface of a solid, of a solid shape. Now you must be wondering what I mean by a solid shape. This is what I mean by a solid shape. A solid shape is a shape that has multiple surfaces. Another way, another word for multiple is many. It has many surfaces. What do I mean by that? You see, when I rotate this cube, it has many surfaces and you see the different colors. The different colors were shown while it was rotating. A solid shape, is different from a plane shape. A plane shape only has one surface. So we had gone through trapezium, we had gone through rectangle, we had gone through triangle. Those shapes are plane shapes. They are flat. It only has one surface. Solid shapes, however, as indicated earlier, has multiple surfaces. And another thing with solid shapes they can be held in the hand, all right? They can stand by themselves without any support, right? So it has length, it has width, and it has depth. That's what we mean by solid shapes. Now, another name for a surface when we're talking about shapes is face. F-A-C-E. So when I say the word surface, I also mean face. When I say the word face, I mean surface. So a solid shape has multiple surfaces or multiple faces. Now, we're talking about surface area of a cube. And when we speak of a cube, it means that all the faces are made up of squares. So, all the faces, all the surfaces are made up of squares. What do I mean? You see how the squares, when they fold in together, you form a cube? Right. So, all the squares, if you cut out the shape and you try to fold them together, when they're folded together, you get a cube. Now, let us count to see the number of faces that are in a cube. How many surfaces does a cube have? Let us count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you see the different colors, all right? So there are six faces in a cube. Now, how do we find the surface area now of a cube? How do we find the surface area? To find the surface area of a cube, it's easy, students. All you're going to do is Find the area of a one of the square faces, right? So remember, each face or the surface of the cube, all the surfaces are squares. So we just need to find the area of a one of the square faces. And we all remember how to find the area of a square, right? We take side times side or side square. So in a square, all the sides measure the same length. So it would be five squared or five times five, all right? Okay, so let's go again. To find the surface area of a cube, 
we find the area of one of the square faces. Then we multiply the, by the number of faces, right? So remember how many faces were there or how many faces are there in a cube? Six. And six all, since all six faces are squares, you just find the area of one of the squares and then that answer you get, you multiply it by six, which is the num total number of faces in a cube. Let's try an example. All right, so we have this colorful cube here and what are the measurements? Five centimeters, so that means that the face of the square faces are five centimeters long. So how do we find the surface area of the cube again? We find the area of one of the square faces, all right? So we multiply five times five. Once it is that one of the, uh, the length of one face is five, that means that the length of all of them will be five because it's a square face. And in a square, all the lengths, all the sides are equal. So we find the area of the square face. The square face what is here. Anyone, any one of the faces you choose. So we multiply five times five and we get 25 centimeters square. We're dealing with area students. So please, please, please don't leave off your square. All right? Don't leave off your square. So after we find the area of one of the square faces, what are we going to do again? Right, we have to multiply the answer that we got by six. Why? Why do we have to multiply by six? Right, because there are six faces in a cube. There are six square faces in a cube. So after we find the area of one of the faces, we multiply the answer we get by six. So the total surface area of the cube is 150 centimeters square awesome let us try one more example find the surface area of this cube now i want for you to pause the video try it on your own then unpause and see if you got the answer correct go ahead and pause the video now okay now that you've paused the video and you've worked it out let's see if you got the answer so one of the square faces, uh, we can use any square face we want. So we can trace this. It's turned sideways, but it is a square. And what is the measure of one the length of one of the square faces? Two meters. Awesome. So we're going to find the area of one of the square faces. So we're going to multiply two by two, and we're going to get four. Two times two give us four. And it's not four dumplings, no. It is four meters squared. And afterwards, we multiply that, sur that answer that we got by six to find the surface area of the cube. So the total surface area of the cube is... 24 meters squares and it's that easy students this is how we find the surface area of a cube now we've come to the end of another video students thank you so much for watching remember to like this video comment down below if this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you students and take care